Welcome to DevOps GPT, where the future of software development meets the cutting edge power of an AI driven innovation tool. Now, this is something that I'm going to be presenting as it's a revolutionary multi agent system that redefines the way we build and deploy softwares. You're basically able to deploy a software with this GPT. Now, imagine a platform that can effortlessly convert a natural language requirement into a tangible working software, which makes it so much easier for the development process to be smooth and efficient than ever before now this is something that is provided with this intelligent software development platform which empowers developers to embark on an end-to-end -end journey to extend the development of existing code bases and this is where the magic lies in an innovative feature that accelerates the deployment efficiency and slashes the development cycle which minimizes the communication costs and it will lead to a delivery on top-notch high-quality softwares so this is something that we'll check out before we get into the video if you would like to become a patreon and get exclusive features such as our private discord that has a lot of cool things that are coming definitely do so by checking out the link in the description below now make sure you guys follow world of ai on twitter to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly guys make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought let's get right into the video so what is devops gpt well, it's an AI driven software development automation solution, and it brings together the power of a language model and DevOps tools to revolutionize the way softwares are built and delivered. It's leveraging the capabilities of an LLM as well as DevOps tools, which have been a unique ability to convert natural language requirements to provide the developers and stakeholders or users of this application to have the direct functioning code to output a software. And this is something that's quite remarkable as something like this is an ai autonomous agent that specifically is used to deploy these software development like applications and this is quite groundbreaking as the features of this project can eliminate the need to have a manual translation or interpretation of requirements which streamlines the development process and reducing the risk of miscommunication with a single out input of this application to deliver this output of an application now this is something that is really cool and this is something we will check out throughout this video as we go further to talk a little bit more about the features let's check out a demo as well as understanding the architecture behind this now let's actually take a look at some of the features and benefits of devops gpt as there's a range of powerful features that could be very beneficial for you now firstly is its improved development efficiency and this is where devops gpt has something that provides people with a time-consuming requirement of documentations as well as explanations that are outputted as it eliminates this overhead in creating such applications now you as a user can directly interact with the platform which swiftly converts the natural language requirements into a functioning software which saves so much valuable time and effort now secondly is its short end development cycles and this is where the automated software development process significantly reduces delivery times and it allows for a faster software development as well as iterations which enables deployment teams into a more agile and responsive way to change requirements and market demands thirdly you have the reduced communication costs where devops gpt accurately understands user requirements which minimizes the risk of communication errors misunderstandings as well as utilizing other tokens to generate more apps this basically enhances the collaboration efficiency between the development as well as the team of the users with this application which reduces time and resources spent on clarification fourthly you have the high quality deliverables which are associated with devops gpt you're able to generate code and perform validations which ensures the quality and reliability of the delivered software and this basically shows the results in a robust and dependable software product meeting the highest standard of performance and functionalities and this is something that we'll showcase later on in the video where there's a demo that they have created the team and it shows how they were able to utilize this amazing devops gpt 
Now, let us actually take a look at how you can install this locally onto your desktop. Now, first things first, you're going to need to have Git installed, which is an application that can help you clone a repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Python as your code editor. And this third step is downloading Visual Studio code, but this is optional. If you want to input your API keys and your endpoints fairly easily, I would highly suggest you using Visual Studio code to do so. Now, first things first, you need to clone your repository but before we actually do that there's one thing that i forgot and that is preparing the environments and you need to make sure that you have the latest environment set up and that is having python 3.11.3 installed or anything above 3.11 now first things first once you have the dependencies installed in the environments what you need to do is clone the environment or clone the repository and this is by typing in git clone and pasting the github repository which you can get above over here and copying this code and pasting enter and this is something that you can see from this demo right here in which he is installing and preparing what is needed and now you need to set up the environments and this is by going into the configuration files of n.yml and this is where you input the api key as well as your endpoints and you can see this in this video right here that it showcases where you need to input your api key and where you need to configure this now i'm not going to go through everything as this is very time consuming and it's very boring at the moment but once you're basically done inputting it it's fairly easy to launch you just go over here copy this command right here which is run.bat on windows but if you're using linux or mac you just write sh run.sh and this will prompt you to the local host in which you can access this awesome application and this is something that i'll showcase now as this is the user interface for devops gpt now as you go on forward you can see that he is now going to complete the requirements uh and this is where they realize the function of adding uh, new members as well as implementing a backend interface and providing swagger interface documentation and store the data in the sql light now let's check over here uh, you're able to select the application that you want so he wrote i need to develop the requirements in a java plus html front end and back end separation and then the devops gpt responds with this and it then tells you to specify the requirements furthermore and this is where it talks about completing and describing in much detail as possible the management member management add members the main field included which are the names emails nicknames fault mobile number gender birth and then it drops down a huge uh, guide for you to actually clarify the requirements and we can see that over here it asks you the questions that will be required to answer each of these things and in order to better understand the requirements i'll also need you to confirm these questions and once that is done you can then submit the requirements and then the system returns the clarified requirements document and then we click continue and it gives you this documentation of what is done and then you click submit and then it gives you the code for what will be needed to develop that application and this is just remarkable as to how they're able to do this as it's fairly easy from a few prompts and obviously you're able to modify certain files certain things of the application by checking it adjusting the code restarting it reviewing it at each basic department of the actual software which is awesome for you to tweak and play around with the code so you can even modify it to add different things that you want to add for example if you're opening or implementing a front-end website uh, application you would want to input your webs uh, or your logo for example so you can basically do so by clicking onto the actual uh, editing prompt and input your logo by coding it into the actual web front and these are some of the things that you can do obviously this is just a website that is showcasing uh, i mean a video sorry showcasing what is required to set up devops and just showing you a demo of an ai automatically completing the software requirements for deployment so i hope you found this part of this demo to be very useful and very beneficial but if you want me to go more in depth to showcase how you can install it locally let me know in the comments below so i can basically showcase this lastly let's take a look at devops gpt's architecture 
it first starts off with the input that you give it and it then leads off to the clarifying the actual requirements of the document where there is the ability to interact with the user's requirement that is given initially and it then thoroughly analyzes what is happening with natural language processing capabilities to basically gain a clearer understanding of the user's needs to reduce the risk of miscommunication so it goes to analyze what is happening and then it clarifies then you move on with the second stage where you generate interface documentation and this is based off the requirements that you gave it initially and it can then automatically generate interface documentation and this feature basically assists developers or users to design and implement the interfaces which streamlines the development process and to promote an actual consistent design choice now you then move off with the task splitting like phase and this is where it utilizes different apis to make sure where it will require what model from hugging face or whatever api calling there is to best utilize for this software development phase and it then sources through the best apis that are needed the best models to give you the, the actual output of the software so it then selects through a code generation api it tests it through different things and this is where it is automated automatically looking for the best source of api models to generate the software and then obviously you go through a refining stage optimization stage which basically showcases if the software is functional so it basically adds more customization and optimization to get you the best output and obviously then you are generating the overall application at the end and this is the whole workflow as to how it operates now it's fairly easy and it's something that is quite unique to see something like this so i highly recommend that you check this out and i hope you found this video to be quite helpful and you could utilize it for a lot of different things so definitely check this out i'll leave the links in the description below now guys this is something that will be really cool to see how they develop so definitely keep a tab on this and i'll leave all the links in the description below so with that thought thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page if you're interested in the exclusive benefits of this patreon channel uh, make sure you follow world of ai on twitter and lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.